Welcome to the Geometer Sketchpad, version 5. The Geometer Sketchpad is a dynamic construction, demonstration, and exploration tool for exploring mathematics across all grade levels and disciplines. Sketchpad 5 extends the software's capabilities in new directions while giving you tools to make your teaching more effective. This video introduces just a few of Sketchpad 5's new features. With Sketchpad 5, it's easy to add mathematical notation to your sketches. Start with a circle. With just a few clicks, construct a triangle using the Polygon tool. Add tick marks to the triangle with the new marker tool to indicate that two of its sides are congruent. Insert the names of objects directly into your caption simply by clicking them. Sketchpad automatically italicizes the names of geometric objects. Now add the names of the two congruent angles to your caption. Click and drag from a vertex into the interior of the angle. This creates an angle marker and the angle name appears in your caption. This hot text in your caption is linked to the objects it describes. Press the notation and the corresponding objects flash in your construction. To test whether this conjecture is true, just measure the angles. Sketchpad 5 gives you what you need to communicate your mathematical ideas in both geometric figures and symbolic statements. Sketchpad has always been a great tool for presentations, and with Sketchpad 5, making presentations and using electronic whiteboards is even easier. Points and lines are now available in a variety of sizes and styles. Larger points and thicker lines are easier to see when you project a sketch. If you're presenting with a whiteboard, Sketchpad's marker tool makes it a snap to write and draw directly on your sketch. With its expanded presentation capabilities, Sketchpad 5 works hand-in-hand -hand with whiteboards to make math easier than ever to communicate and share. Sketchpad 5 makes it easy to work with photographs and drawings. You can drag and drop pictures from your camera or web browser into Sketchpad, and then get to work. You can set up pictures as transparent backdrops and then do math on top of them. Or you can actually do math with pictures to explore symmetries and transformations. Let's rotate this once, and then a few more times, and then adjust the center of rotation to get a dynamic kaleidoscope. Sketchpad 5 offers exciting opportunities to integrate pictures into your mathematical investigations. Custom transformations give you the freedom to define new transformations in Sketchpad. You can combine Sketchpad's existing transformations or create entirely new ones. Custom transformations can be applied to any object, not just points and lines, but function plots, loci, even to your digital photographs. Here we apply a proportional rotation transformation to a triangle, and then to a picture. Use custom transformations to create shortcuts for one or more built-in transformations. You can also investigate relationships between transformations and constructions, or invent and explore new transformations of your own. Sketchpad 5 gives you lots more power to work with mathematical functions. If you're just starting out, maybe you prefer functions in y equals notation. Further along, you can plot parametric functions and even whole families of functions. You can display the x-axis in units of pi. You can intersect the graphs of functions and find the roots of a function. You can even define new functions just by sketching their graph. Here, the marker tool draws a graph that we can then treat as defining a real function. Use a custom tool to find the area under its curve. You can even listen to a function in Sketchpad, which is great if you're building models in physics or trigonometry. All of these new function capabilities make Sketchpad even better for algebra, precalculus, and calculus. But with Sketchpad 5, you get more than just software. You get support materials that help you and your students get the most out of Sketchpad.
Getting Started Tutorials walk you through the skills you'll need to get up and running. If you need to brush up on a particular skill, just watch a brief video or read a friendly tip sheet. These resources, in addition to online professional development courses, provide support tailored to your needs. This wraps up our brief tour of what's new in Sketchpad 5. Once you start to explore Sketchpad's new features, you'll see how well they work together to provide an exceptional learning experience.